Alright. I think this was the same as yesterday. Alright, so first day was 153.2. Second day, 153.2. Let's keep track of this and hope we do at least lose some. Okay, good morning, guys. It is currently 10.43 in the morning. Yesterday, we did intermittent fasting until 2 p.m., but this time, I'm heading to the gym with a friend at 1 p.m., and then I'm going to Ikea to buy a closet. Yeah, I don't like to go to the gym fasted at all, so that's why I am having breakfast now. Uh, we do need some meals in. I like some carbs before I go to the gym because it gives me energy. So I'm having cornflakes again, and then I'm gonna have probably a shit ton of snack jacks and then I'm gonna be probably gonna have a little dessert because uh, I don't have anything else to eat. In today's video, we are doing Face Tifu shoulder workout. Now, if you don't know, I am the fitness coach of all the Face Clan. So all the members, like some staff even, all the pros, all the YouTubers, so like Face Rain, Face Tifu, Face Apex, all these guys I do workout with. Uh, also Face Tifu, which is a lot of fun. And uh, today we're training shoulders with a friend and Tifu has a shoulder day in his workout routine. So I will be going over face Tifu's workout routine with you guys in this video. Let's pick up two things before we hit the gym. Uh, I have some fresh pineapple here. It's about 250 grams, which comes to about um, 36 grams of carbs. I mean, fruit is always really good and uh, pineapple is really nice. I like the flavor. And then we have uh, one of those uh, we picked up because we are eating that for the gym. So uh, this is a lot of carbs as well, like 40 grams of carbs and also 50 grams of protein. So very high protein here. And then we have some carbs um, here. We're going to the gym in about 35 minutes. So uh, yeah, let's get this going. Yes, let's get it going, guys. Welcome to the gym footage here. Shoulders, let's go over the workout we did. Um, I, this is the workout that I made for Tfue and um, he wanted to build some more muscle. So if you're looking to build some muscle and you wanna build some bigger shoulders, then this is definitely a good workout for you to do. We're gonna start with some standing Arnold presses. Now, this is not the easiest exercise, I gotta say. It is a little bit more of a complex exercise, but it's standing, it's very good for your core, it's very good for your shoulders, and by adding the, the twist to make it the Arnold press, it gives a little bit more, um, you know, variation and it gives a little bit more of the shoulder that you're hitting. So you're hitting the, more the front delt, but also the overall shoulder that you're hitting. Um, every exercise that we do in this uh, workout is four sets with, I think we did eight reps. So that's what Tifu did for a couple of weeks. Um, really, really nice. Second exercise is going to be the steering wheel driving, whatever you want to call it. It's a front race with a plate. And as you can see, you turn left and turn right once. Uh, it's a very hard exercise. You have to hold a top um, and if twist it, which gives it a little bit more of a different movement. Now, I gotta say, this is not the easiest exercise. Again, it's a little bit of a variation. You can do just front raises with the plate, also very heavy, but adding that twist uh, just gives a little bit more uh, difficulty to the exercise. Now, what you wanna do is have your chest up, shoulders back, have a very nice and compact body. Squeeze your abs, make sure you're all tight and uh, you don't have to lift the weight very much higher than the level that your shoulders are on. So you don't have to go above your head or anything. It's about keeping the tension in the front deltoid. Uh, that's the most important thing. To do it controlled and slow, you don't have to swing it, you don't use any momentum, you just use the power of your front delt. Now, it's okay if you start in a very low weight, man. All right, now we're gonna do a side raise. It's eight kilos. And then we're gonna drop set it with the five kilo. And then we're gonna hold it as long as we can. I did, last set I think I did 10 seconds, which is tough. But it's about pushing your limits, so try to better your 10 seconds next time. Let's get it. So again, it's okay to use a lower weight. Start with the weight and build up from there. Nobody starts with a high weight when they go to the gym. So if you're a beginner and you're trying to work out, pick a weight that you can use and you can do the exercise in a good way. You don't have to force anything. You don't have to be cool or whatever to use a bigger weight because some other guy is using bigger weight. Just use your weight and you'll improve over time. Now this exercise is a drop set slash superset, which means you do two exercises after each other 
and which burns your muscle out. You try to burn it completely out. So as you can see, I'm doing the, the side raises with the hold up top, which is super, super heavy. And it's a very great finisher for the side deltoids. Now the lateral delts or side delts are the ones that make your shoulder look wider and bigger. So you make your physique a little bit more wider. So you get that nice V tape look of the physique. Uh, so it's a very great exercise, but the holding is super, super hard. Try to better your time every time you do it. Um, I, I think I did like 10 seconds and 11 and 12. And try with your friends. If you're in the gym with your friends, try to push each other to better yourselves and uh, better the time. So yeah, it's all about pushing your limits, man. It's all about, you know, doing better than your last session. And it's okay if you, if you start with one kilo or five seconds. As long as you better yourself, better than five seconds, better than one kilo that you're using, you're having progress, you're making progress, and you're getting better. So don't stress it too much. Last exercise to finish it off, overhead single hand cable extensions. Overhead single hand cable extensions. Jesus. So we finished with two tricep exercises. You saw the first and the second one. The first one was a very easy tricep extension. And this is a overhead extension which makes you hit the longer head of the triceps instead of the other head. The tricep obviously is three heads. Uh, there, that's why it's called a triceps, right? So three heads and you try to hit them all. So uh, the overhead hits just the longer head of the triceps, which actually makes your arm look bigger when you train it. It's very important to keep your elbow stable and rotate around it. So you squeeze your um, tricep and use as much triceps as possible. Anyways, this was the workout section of the video. Enjoy the rest of this video. Okay, I hope I'm in frame. I'm not sure. I just put it down. But uh, we just came back from the gym. I had a little quick shower and I changed. And um, my dad is going to be here in like five minutes. We're going to buy some closet. Uh, maybe I'll show you guys later if I bought it or not, and then we assemble it, I guess. But I'm right now I'm gonna stack up on water, and I'm gonna have a protein bar because I don't have time to eat right now, uh, which is kind of good for my cut because I kind of have to like stall the time that I can eat because otherwise I'll eat too much and get hungry later at night, uh, which I don't want, which I had yesterday, which sucks. But um, so I have one protein bar. I'll have a shit ton of water. I'll check in with you guys probably when it's dark out because it's gonna be dark in like five minutes. It's three o'clock, what the hell? So we got the closet, finally. Took us a while. But now, the mama made some food for us. And um, mama made a macro friendly meal with some rice, some chicken and some veggies. Thank you, mama. Yeah. I thank you, papa. You're welcome, boy. <laughs> Yo, sorry for this weird jump cut right now, but it's currently 1.18 a.m. And I just came back from my friends. Uh, I just had some drinks with some friends. And <clears throat> so when I say drinks, I mean soft drinks. I didn't, didn't drink any alcohol, obviously. And when I say soft drinks, I say Coke Zeros. So um, because we're not counting those calories, um, well, because a lot of guys, when they do cut, a lot of people don't, I don't realize that there's so many calories in soft drinks like Coke, Fanta, whatever, uh, Coca-Cola it is. Um, so there's a lot of calories in that. There's a lot of sugar, obviously, which counts carbs. So when you have Coke Zeros, it's obviously zero sugar. Uh, I'm not saying it's the best for your body or whatever, but we are having fun, we're having some drinks with your friends. It's okay to drink a Coke Zero. And um, since we have such a short cut, uh, I'm gonna stay on that. So I'm having the last meal of the day, which is another skier. I'm not gonna show you guys this every single day because obviously it's the same thing every single day, but I will show you guys the meals that are kind of different every day that uh, I'll try to do some recipes um, every day, which you can take some motive, um, you can take some inspiration from that to create your own meals that are very macro friendly, all right? So um, this was the video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you wa guys want me to do more workouts with, um, if you guys want me to do more workouts, which I make for the guys, TFU, Rain, Apex, Nico, stuff like that. If you guys want it, comment down below which days you want me to do, and I'll do them, I'll go over them, and we'll talk about them. I hope you guys can learn something from it. Anyways, if you're new, subscribe to the channel for some more fitness content. Appreciate you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.